we are not replacing gas used entirely in very cold weather, but in nicer weather, just like this, we are right now switching over to geothermal. So we are replacing gas 100% right now. Also in peak hours, when everybody's washing their hands in the afternoon, or everybody's bathing and, 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 and there is very high demand for heat, then, then the gas boilers switch on. But it's like 50% down from what we used to use. It's also a lighthouse project. It's interesting for a lot of other cities. There are hundreds of similar sized and similar gas-based systems in Europe. Even coal-based systems exist. And switching these to geothermal or to any renewable, for that matter, is quite important. So this is something that many cities would like to replicate. And actually, we have visitors from abroad, from, from Serbia, from Romania, and even from Western Europe, who are studying what we are doing here, who are interested in what we are doing here. The district heating in Szeged, like most district heatings in Hungary, and actually in Eastern Europe too, are based on fossil fuels. In Szeged, this is natural gas. This is imported gas, it's not Hungarian, it's imported from Russia actually. This was an environmental idea. Now it became a security of supply idea basically, due to the war and due to the energy crisis. So what started out as an environmental project is now a security of supply project too.